Hello, I'm Reed Kralberg, Vice President of Technical Services with Model Metrics. Model Metrics is a Salesforce.com premier consulting partner dedicated to helping you get the most out of your Salesforce.com investment. You can learn more about Cloud Converter and our other innovative tools at our website. Visit modelmetrics.com. This short presentation is designed to help you understand how to get the most out of Cloud Converter, the free application from Model Metrics that turns your spreadsheets into secure, reliable Force.com applications. Download, download Cloud Converter right from the App Exchange. If you have questions after watching this video and performing these steps, please feel free to contact Model Metrics by email at cloudconverter at modelmetrics.com. For this video, I'll be using a sample spreadsheet to illustrate each point. This spreadsheet deals with a hypothetical vehicle lease tracking scenario. Don't worry too much about the data in my spreadsheet. It's just here to help illustrate how you can prepare yours. So let's get started. Cloud Converter is designed to work with spreadsheets containing tabular data. If your spreadsheet contains other information, such as graphs and macros, that work with the data you want to convert, you should remove those prior to use. In my sample spreadsheet, I'm going to first save it as a copy, so I'm working with a backup and not the original, and then I'm going to delete my graphs on the Graphs tab. Cloud Converter uses data in your worksheets to create objects in Force.com. These objects will be named using the worksheet names in your spreadsheet. Note that if you have custom objects with the same names as one in your spreadsheet, Cloud Converter will prompt you to delete them. If you confirm that you want to delete those objects, it will delete them as well as the data in them. In my sample, I'm going to rename this worksheet by double-clicking on the tab and entering a new name. Also, Cloud Converter will attempt to convert all worksheets. If your spreadsheet contains a tab that you don't want to import, you should delete it. So I'm going to click over here to my to-do list, and I'm going to delete that tab as well. Cloud Converter depends on having your spreadsheet data in a certain format. For example, Cloud Converter imports the worksheets into your spreadsheet sequentially from left to right. If you have data in one spreadsheet designed to look up to data in another worksheet, that worksheet should be to the left. For example, if my spreadsheet, in my spreadsheet, the worksheet Vehicle Assignments depends on vehicles, so I'm going to move vehicles to the left of Vehicle Assignments. Cloud Converter also depends on the first two rows of each worksheet. The first row determines the new field's name. The second row determines the data type. If either of these rows is empty, Cloud Converter will give you an error. For example, on the Vehicle tab, you'll see that I have both a missing item in row 1 and a missing item on row 2. I'm going to correct those now. Cloud Converter will not accept rows that are completely blank. On my spreadsheet, I'll delete this blank row. Also, if you have subtotals in your spreadsheet, averages on the bottom, etc., you'll want to delete those. Your spreadsheet should contain only data. Finally, you'll also want to be sure the blank columns on the right-hand side of your spreadsheet are in fact blank. You can do this by selecting several columns and using Excel's delete function. Likewise, you want to be sure that rows at the bottom of your spreadsheet that appear blank are in fact blank. Simply select several of those rows on the bottom and again use Excel's delete function. And with that, you're ready to use your spreadsheet with Cloud Converter. Please be sure to see the rest of our Cloud Converter videos on YouTube for more information. Cloud Converter is just one of several tools offered by Model Metrics to help you get the most out of your Salesforce.com investment. Visit modelmetrics.com and click on Solutions for more information. If you'd like to contact us, please email cloudconverter at modelmetrics.com. Thank you.